I think what we do extremely well here is that we set expectations yeah. for our clients. I mean, there's no um, rosy picture being made here, no, no, no promises being made. The market is a beast. Um, it has made a ton of people a lot of money and it has also brought a ton of people to its knees. Yeah. So I think um, market volatility, and it's funny you said that because we are going through some of that right now as yeah. I speak, uh, is inevitable. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to diversify. Hey everybody, it's Joshua Kwan, and today our guest is Andrew Duran with Harlan Duran. So thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Um, if you want to introduce yourself to the people at home. Yeah, uh, my name is Andrew Duran. I am a partner, owner, operator of Harlan and Duran Financial Group. I've been living in Aiken now 11 years, I think. That's crazy. Grew up in Johnston, South Carolina. Uh, married to my better half, Joanne. Duran, and we have four wonderful little girls. How, how, uh, how old are girls? Yeah, here we go. You, I knew this was coming. <laughs> yeah. uh, six, five, three, and one. And hey, you don't have one gray hair on your head. But I'm losing my <laughs> <laughs> That's phenomenal. Yeah, no, they're great. They're great. They're all double named. Rosalind Carter, Molly Catherine, Millie Drew, and Emma Claire. That's so, awesome. Mouth full. It. Yeah. You gotta love yep. it. Yep. So six... I mean, three ki four kids under six years old. Yep. Beautiful wife that supports the mess out of you at home. Yeah, absolutely. She is the foundation to it all, for sure. That's awesome. But we are quite busy, yeah. as you can imagine. I love it. So yep. Busy is the way to be. Yep. All right. So let's talk about you. Yeah. So partner, owner, operator, all the above, wear a bunch of hats. Yep. Did you ever think that, well, first off, tell them what, the, what your business really is. Yeah. So we're a risk first financial planning firm. Um, we help our clients build their written financial plan. I mean, it's, in, it's important for us here um, to put on paper what our clients want to accomplish. Yeah. And, um, and we think we do it extremely well. I have a great team. Um, we work with clients all over the map from young professionals just starting out to to retirees and business owners in between. Yeah, so. and I've been a client, I think, for Four or five years? Yeah, so yeah. I might be six. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They, they add up. But I mean, I was one of those young people who didn't have any idea what we were <clears> to do, and we've sat down over the years and made a yep. plan. Absolutely. Yep. The yeah. um, So you offer a ton of services to people. Mm -hmm. What's the one thing that you love the most about offering? Maybe either one product or one service or one conversation yeah. you have. Uh, Josh, you know this. We don't we don't really get into product here. I mean, yeah. we let plan dictate product. Product. I mean, yeah, an IRA is a product. Yeah. I mean, you know, everybody has to have things come to life to bring their financial plan to life. Yeah. Um, but I, I think me, it's just seeing it all come together. I mean, you know, even with you and Bethany, you know, like you said, when we first came in, you know, we were talking about a W two job. Bethany with her wedding planning and things like yeah. that, and, but there was a vision. Mm -hmm. There was a dream out there and, and we saw it come to life. And for me, whether that's, I mean, I, I joke with Marna, um, you know, I, being 35, um, obviously I get to see the plan of the young professional come together, but also get to see the other end of the spectrum come together and to see that person retire. That's awesome. And right before you walked in here, I was meeting with a retired couple that I've been working with and just to hear like they're going to Montana horseback ride and they're thinking That's about so buying a, a, a um, RV and you know, just, I guess just to see it all come together. I mean that to me, that's, I don't really get in, involved in, well, you know, this life insurance or this disability or this, this uh, investment account. To, to me, that's not, it's, it's all about y'all. Yeah. It's all about the person. It's so. phenomenal. You're doing a great job for us personally. So you've been doing this business for 11 years, but where did you think you would be? <laughs> I mean, 12 year old, 13 year old self, Andrew, yeah. at home with the family growing up, where'd you, where'd you want to do? Man, I, I had a little bit of a tough childhood. Um, I was raised pretty much by a single mom. Um, she made just an enormous amount of sacrifices for me. But I've, I'll, I've always understood, kind of on the other side of the coin really, um, 
you know, I didn't didn't have a lot growing yeah. up. <laughs> I had a, I mean, we had plenty. I had what I needed, and and again, I went to more law, private school, but it was all sacrifices made by my mom. So, I think I've just always been fascinated with a with a dollar and business and the way it works. Um, my dad did did run a small business in Johnston, yeah. a gas station. So I, I I've grown up around it. So it was always an interest to me, but. Honestly, Josh, like I went to school uh, at PC to play football, ended up coming back to USC Aiken, mm -hmm. and finishing, and really the dream was to be a lawyer. And um, I got a buddy, Kevin Maloney, that's a year ahead yeah. of me, and he was already in law school, and he's like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do <laughs> Worth it. Worth it a while, so, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, I worked all the way through college and, and, and worked for a small business here in Aiken, lay inside. Uh, running a skid steer, you know, going to work and earning a dollar every day. Yeah, absolutely. So I think just the, just knowing that um, I, I, I knew my work ethic was there. I, I knew, but I also know, knew that I probably wasn't the smartest person in the room yeah. either. And don't pretend that way. Um, so I just, I felt like, okay, hey, I, I love money. Um, I love the understanding of it more so than the money itself. But um, so, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, it was always a dream to yeah. own a financial planning business because that would be just an absolute lie. Um, but the, but the, 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 the desire was always there to understand it so that if I wasn't helping other people with the decision centered around money, at least I would be able to put my family in a better position. Yeah. But it was actually, I mean, Joanne, my wife, was actually the person that, like, probably outside of my mom and brother that really probably believed in me the most to kind of awesome. get me to to take that jump yeah. to be a, and you know I yeah. mean, as scary as can be yeah leaving yeah. a salary and going into uh, a dream of being a small business owner so I, I think it was beautiful is and I've said this before I couldn't be where I'm at without my wife you're saying the exact same thing yeah. right now with yeah. how much of a team that y'all truly are yeah um, what's been the biggest support that she, Joanne's been to you the whole way through this whole process I think just an understanding I mean, you know, that first year, um, she moved, she, she jumped, my wife was a special needs teacher uh, when she moved down here from North Carolina. Yeah. She left the beach to come live in Aiken, South yeah. Carolina, so that was true love right there. <laughs> um, but, you know, ju I think just the understanding and the, the unwavering support that I could do it. That's awesome. I mean, like, you know, when you're in this business, you have different sort of, uh, stepping stones, I guess, that yeah. that you hit. And, you know, my first $100,000 that someone gave me to invest, I remember Joanne and I celebrating like it was $100 million. Yeah. You know, but now we get just as excited about $10 million. We yeah. get just as excited about uh, a young couple signing on to be financial planning clients. There's just this, there's just this excitement. And, and then, too, I mean, obviously the now – gives us a life where I'm able to be with my family and mm -hmm. pick them up from school and take them. But, but she also understands too where it started yeah. and the hard work for both of us to, to get to this point. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yep. The, um, so in real estate, there's always a, it's changing, right? You keep it going, keep it flowing. We made it through COVID with a lot of video tours, things like that. Right. How about in your business? I've been fortunate, man. Um, uh, we've obviously had to take some some precautions. I mean, you know, we we deal with uh, clients like I told you from 21 to 88. Yeah. You know, so we we've been respectful. I mean, I've been very fortunate that my business is built on a a relationship referral type deal. So yeah. so I don't really. Um, I, I market our brand. Um, we love our brand. We love our community. We support our community. Yeah. We sponsor golf tournaments. We're in magazines. Um, we give back. We're on boards. Um, but but for me, I mean, COVID has actually just made my business explode. Yeah. Um, people have always come to us for advice, but when when something like that rocks your core, rocks your world the way it do, did. Um, it just became that we were we were a vital part of every one of our planning clients' world, mm -hmm. and um, so it's it's brought us closer. But we we've, we've had we have not stopped. Um, I mean, we've had in face meetings. Now I've gotten. I tell you what, it has done. Um, it's allowed me 
to do more. Yeah. Because where my clients that might be in Georgetown or North Carolina or other mm -hmm. side of Georgia, um, Indiana, places like that, I have been able to utilize Zoom, and people are okay. With yeah. That. I'm a I'm a I'm a face to face guy, as you can tell with my hands. Yeah. Like I'm an emotional, passionate person. So that doesn't play well through camera. Yeah. Usually. You want to see the body uh, language? Yeah. Too. Yeah. I just need to. I shake need to be. Yeah. 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 To make sure you're paying attention to. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So I, I think for me, there's it's kind of crazy. We're two years almost to the point that we found out what COVID was in America, yeah. and what it's like. It was almost a scary week and a half, but the people who made it through it mm -hmm. and like have been able to like evolve their business, and that's great. Yeah, so for sure, um, and Zoom's been a big part of it. All right. So the question that we get asked in real estate is when the when's the crash coming? Right? There's gonna be a crash. Yeah. So same thing happens with the stock market all the time. That kind of question and financial planning. So. What are you answering people? What are you offering people in that scenario? Yeah. Um, and I know personally for me, like, I don't really worry about that because we have a plan in place right, that we right. put on paper. And like, if it crashes, what yeah. we always say it's an opportunity to what? Buy some it's more. It's an opportunity to buy. There's a there lot of go. people that have made a lot of money off of stock market yeah. crashes. So, and, and I think the, the, the difference, too, is, is to really make sure you define what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, a, a market crash is a little bit different. 08 and 09 are a little bit different than pullbacks. Right. So, I mean, there's opportunity, but you know this, Josh, you know it better than anybody because you've heard me say it. Um, I did not know what COVID was. Yeah, had, had no. If we did, we'd have been in Vegas because we'd see the future and we'd be rolling red, black, whatever. But bottom line is, is that m most of my clients already had seen through our wealth management software, our analysis, our projections, that a 30% drop in a two week span could happen. Yep. Okay, so I, I think what we do extremely well here is that we set expectations yep. for our clients. I mean, there's no um, rosy picture being made here, no, no, no promises being made. The market is a beast. Um, it has made a ton of people a lot of money and it has also brought a ton of people to its knees. Yeah. So I think um, market volatility, and it's funny you said that because we are going through some of that right now as yeah. we speak, uh, is inevitable. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to diversify. Uh, I think you have to um, allow yourself to think outside the box and to be able to put your money in places that offer you some guarantees mm -hmm. so that uh, when there is volatility, your entire portfolio is not made up of stocks, bonds, alternatives that you can see that up and down. In. So, it. you know, is a crash coming? Who knows? Uh, who knows? Yeah, but right. you know what? You just, you just prepare for it the best you can. And, uh, and then two, I think the biggest key is, um, is just being there for your client. Yeah. Like, because it's, it's, again, volatility is inevitable. So when it happens, we don't need to all of a sudden disappear. Mm -hmm. That's when we should take action. That's when we should be calling our yeah. clients and saying to them, hey, losses are only on paper. You haven't realized any of these losses. So, yeah. you know. All right, so change the subjects a little bit. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier, Kevin, great friend of yours, yep. helped you out with that. Who are some other leaders that you look to in the community, in your life, around you? Yeah, I, I got to start with my brother. I mean, he is, I, 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 I cannot talk about this guy. And like, like every family's kind of got that like star sheep and yeah. then that black sheep. Well, I'm the black sheep <laughs> and my brother's the star sheep. Like well, this, this guy. No, no, no. Okay. He'll say Andrew's the black sheep. <laughs> yeah, he will say that. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, my brother, you know, again, um, getting yeah. back to my childhood, my brother's 10 years older than me. Mm. Um, he, he was, he bought my coming home from the hospital outfit. That's awesome. At 10. Like, he, he's just a, he's a guy that everybody ought to have in their life. Like, Love he's it. a guy that's going to pick you up. Um, he's a guy that's just going to be there for you. He's had an enormous amount of success in his life. Um, and he's just there for me every second of every day. And so he, he I got to start with him. Um, you'll love this. I, I know as a, as a game cock over here, yeah. um, William Christopher Sweeney. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Davo. Yeah. You know, again, I think I, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the underdog. Yeah. I, I live it. Yeah. I mean, like I tell people all the time, I'm not supposed to be doing what I'm doing. I'm right there with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not, it's not supposed to, but according to who? 
Not according to us. Yeah. So we live in Aiken, South Carolina. This is, uh, for me, and I think for you as well, it's like yeah. one of the best places to raise a family. Absolutely. You can take your business anywhere. Why do you keep it here in Aiken? I, I think just what you just said. Um, you know, speaking of my wife, Joanne, I mean, again, she, she she's from a very... Um, close family in yep. North Carolina. Their roots are very deep there. Yep. Um, and, and when she came to, to Aiken to live, she made that comment. Yep. You know, you can, you, can, you can grow your book, you can grow your anyway. business, and then we can move back to North Carolina. Now there are days where she'd probably <laughs> say that the, the still, probably nice. um, that she misses her family. But, but this, this town, this city, I'm not That's ready right. to call it a city yet. I still think it's Aiken and town, but um, it, it's amazing. I mean, it really is. The people here, um, I'll never forget. So when I first came to Aiken and started doing business, okay. I met with Buzz Rich, uh, who's a local attorney here in Aiken mm -hmm. and just a kind of a, a legend in his own right of, of a good, solid business owner. Mm -hmm. And I said, Buzz, I'm not your normal um, born in Aiken, raised in Aiken, no. Woodside Country Club guy, like nobody's going to know my name. He, I said, what, what do I do? He said, take care of Aiken. And Aiken will take care of you. Beautiful. What a and man, life. I mean, at the time, I'm like, what did he just say to me? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like what, what sense does that make? Now I'm like, Buzz, take care of Aiken. Aiken will take care of you. And so that that's what we've done. My my girls go to Mead Hall, um, and my youngest is at First Pres. My little baby, I don't know if Joanne will ever let her out of the house to go to school, but um, we're just here, man. Yeah. We love it. I'm on the uh, funds development uh, committee for the Children's Place. Um, I'm on the Center for the Arts uh, Board of Directors. Um, I just, it, it, I am um, extremely fortunate to call Aiken my home and to do business here. I love it. I, I mean, so. What's Aiken two years from now? We're doing, we're so much changing right in a second. Yeah. I mean, it's a loaded it's question. Growing yeah. like crazy. Yeah. Where, where do you want to see Aiken in two years? Uh, it's funny, Josh, you asked me that question because I've been having that talk with a lot of people. Um, I, I, I'm a fan of growth. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I, I, I try to grow myself in some way every day. I mean, I've always kind of joked with my clients if I ever come in and feel like, and they get the sense that, yeah. that I've arrived, then fire me mm -hmm. because I, 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 need to, I need to be set out to pasture because I think we all have to grow and, and, and Aiken in general. Um, but, but growth needs to be um, slow and we need to understand that growth could bring potential things that change the town that we live in. So obviously with the mall and the yeah. hotel talk and things like that, it's going to bring a lot of excitement to Aiken. No doubt about it. But there's going to be some changes too, and we just need to be prepared for that. Obviously being young, I, but I don't, I don't want to live in the next Atlanta. Like I did. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I'm with you. I, mean, I, I don't know if Aiken could ever get there, yeah. but you know, I mean, Atlanta didn't start off that way either. So, you know, I, I, I'm excited about it. I'll say that. I, I'm, I'm taking the uh, the sit back, wait and see approach. The good part about the growth in Aiken is, is it's it's being led by Aiken. 100%. It's being led so by beautiful. business owners that are here. They're raising families. They're going to work every day. So that's that's what you and I had to just just hope that it, we we keep that foundation for sure. All yeah. right. So we're getting close to the end here. So you have your four girls sitting in front yeah. of you. One advice that you'll give to them. Oh man. Um, just be true to yourself. Love it. I, I mean, you know, I. I Sometimes um, my mouth can get me in trouble, but I don't think anybody that knows me would ever accuse me of not being transparent love and it. not being who I am. I love and it. that'll never change. So just be true to yourself. I love it. So everybody knows we started Client Cares as part of our uh, business. We're giving back to the community. So what is one organization we can give back in your honor uh, for? Children's Place. Children's Place, sweet. My wife and I are that, that it's near and dear to us. That's great. I mean, you know, when you look at um, how fortunate our children are mm -hmm. um, and the life that we give them, the love and time, um, that organization does amazing things. Awesome. So, so we we'll write a check in your honor to Children's Place. Thanks thank you, buddy. Yep. Appreciate that. Yep. All right, so ready for some one word answers. Oh, goodness. I'm going to pop off some questions. Just give me one okay. word answers. The best uh, you can. Uh, Here we go. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Beat your mountains. 
beach football did not. you see me stuck on the side <laughs> of that mountain sorry i mean we were, like, yeah we'll have to tag his instagram yeah that. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that, we don't have time for that story but yes beach there you go yeah, yeah. um favorite sport football favorite season mm, spring steeplechase <laughs> <laughs> Golf. Socks, no shows, or show your socks. I don't wear socks. There you go. Yeah, no socks at all. No, not even the no show socks. Not when like, it's that's on. Literally, it could be um, 15 degrees, and my toes could be purple, about to fall off, and I got no socks. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah, even the, even like your long slacks, like tuxedo. Well, I mean, I haven't worn a tuxedo, and there you go. So I used to. I was, you know, I was texting Josh about this, and like, what do I wear? Because I used to have, like, I got all kind of nice suits at home, yeah. and um, COVID happened, and I was like, you know what? I mean, I am just going to change the way I dressed. I mean, suit doesn't make me any smarter. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I am I am a no-sock-wearing guy, and my shoes hate me for it. There you go. Um, but, there you go. All good. Yep. You have to buy your wife one gift. What are you buying her today? Diamonds. Congratulations. You're going to do it today. How about that? No, she just got so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, her birthstone's a diamond. Uh, I don't know. I've never met a woman that didn't like a diamond. That's so, true statement. Yeah, diamonds. And then what are you buying yourself? Oh, man. One word. I don't know. I'm, I can't. It's all I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I just, <laughs> I don't want for a lot of stuff. Like, I think what I would buy myself would be, a vacation at this point, like vacation where? Vacation to the islands with the kids or without the kids? Without the kids. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Sorry, kids. It's been a long two yeah. years. <laughs> like, yeah. I, mean, I, yeah, I always joke my wife and I's passport it looked like we were drug smugglers before COVID, and now it's just shut down. Oh. So I'm like, oh my gosh, get me out of here for a we're, week. We're so. itching. We're yeah. itching just as much yeah. as everybody else is. Absolutely. All right, so. Thanks for your time. I think yeah, you gave man. a lot of great information here. This Appreciate is phenomenal. It. I enjoyed it. How can people get in contact with you? Oh, well, you can uh, call our office and go through Marna Brooks, 803-262-4459. You can visit our website, herlongandduran.com. There's a little uh, contact me form or yeah. something like that. So, Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Always. Yeah. Appreciate it.